Hello Preps and welcome back to Writing where we're looking at the story Peggy by Anna Walker. She's the author and the illustrator. That means she did all the words and all the pictures of this story. Now yesterday we had a look at the characters, the setting and the beginning and today we're going to move into the middle of the story. But before we do, let's have a bit of a think about what happened. Now remember we met Peggy in her backyard. She was busy jumping around on the trampoline when oh, a big gust of wind came and took her up into the air and flew her into the city of Melbourne where she was being very brave and she went for a walk. She did lots of exploring all on her own. She went to the movies, she went up and down escalators, she tried a big bowl of spaghetti, she had a cupcake, tried on some silver shoes and she even found a book about fried chicken. Ah, that's not good. So we saw Peggy having lots of fun but it's time now to get to the middle of the story because it's not quite a problem yet is it sure she got blown into the city she wasn't planning on it but she's not unhappy our main character Peggy is not sad about being in the city or is she let's find out what happens in the middle of the story she even found a cozy place to rest that reminded her of home although it was not her home. And there's Peggy. Now, if you look really carefully at the cushion that she's lying on, so she's inside, I'm not sure if you quite can see, she's inside a shop window and there's a little girl looking at her. What is this chicken doing sitting on a couch in a shop window in the middle of the city? Her mum hasn't even noticed, but the little girl has noticed. And I think that Peggy thinks this is a little bit like her home because there's a picture up here of a house, which is like the house that's next in her backyard. But also, if you look at the cushion, it's the very same material that her curtains are made out of in her chicken coop. So she probably saw that cushion and thought, oh, I forgot how much I love my home. I miss my home. And I think she might be feeling a little bit homesick. Have you ever felt like that too? Peggy missed her home. She tried asking for directions but people found it hard to understand her. In the rushing crowd Peggy saw a sunflower like the one in her backyard. Do you remember the sunflowers from the very beginning? She was the, um, her chicken coop was the only house, well, where there were sunflowers in the very beginning scene all the other houses didn't have any sunflowers but Peggy's had sunflowers and it had her special friends the pigeons and so she sees some sunflowers it's reminding her of home she's thinking oh I want to go back so she follows the sunflowers she followed the sunflower the sunflower sat down so Peggy sat down too outside began moving they were speeding away from the tall buildings. When Peggy looked around, the sunflower was gone. So Peggy's ended up following the person with the sunflowers. She's not noticing the person. She's only noticing the sunflowers. And she's followed that person onto a train. She sat. Did you see where she was sitting? She was sitting on an older man's head, uh, looking at the sunflowers as the train got going and the train was going pretty fast outside began moving they were speeding away from the tall buildings so this is another part of the setting we've had the home we've had the big city buildings and now we've got the train and Peggy is following the girl now because the girl hops off the train although Peggy's not noticing that girl Peggy notices the sunflowers get off the train and so she must go and follow them. She doesn't know what else to do to get home. Peggy hopped out of the train, but the sunflower was gone. She watched the sky grow darker as clouds rolled by. The wind was cold. A flock of birds flew quietly overhead. It was the pigeons. <gasps> this is big. This is huge. Because... Peggy knows the pigeons. 
they're her friends they hang around her house and she likes to watch them so this is a great sign now there's something familiar to her she lost the flower but now she's found the pigeons maybe she'll be able to get home so this is where we're going to finish the problem so your job today is to get your piece of paper in your exercise book put a line in the middle like we always do draw a picture on the top part of Peggy following the girl with the sunflower the sunflowers onto the train and heading home because Peggy is homesick she's got a real problem she wants to go home she had fun in the city but she wants to go home now and she does not know how to go home so she follows the sunflowers and then when she gets off the train her problem continues because that girl has gone with the sunflowers and she's stuck right there at Hartwell station sitting on the bench not knowing what to do but then she sees the pigeons so you might like to include some pigeons into your picture please label your picture about the problem of the story and then I would like you to write a sentence it doesn't have to be a sentence that's already in the book it's your sentence describing what's happening to Peggy in the middle of this story when we get to the problem so you might like to write something like Peggy was homesick she followed flowers onto a train something simple like that you don't have to tell me every single bit just the main parts of the problem all right preps i'll see you tomorrow when we look at the ending